it's just one of them rare occasions where I bought something from online and actually got it on the day that it was supposed to release. Sure, I've already done a big spiel about how much of a huge fan I am of VR, but I've done a bunch of VR videos in the past. I've been really looking forward to getting this and apparently so has Dala because she couldn't wait to sit down as well. I'm actually not too sure what to expect here because as much of a VR fan as I am, I kind of just wanted to be surprised by this thing and I didn't do a ton of research into it. It actually kind of snuck up on me. The release kind of came out of nowhere. Considering PSVR 1 didn't really do that well, I don't think. You would have thought they would have made a bigger push for this one. I couldn't set up a camera to show the TV, but I don't think I'll need it. I only have two cameras. I'm using one here for this and one here for that. I couldn't really set up a third one to capture the TV, but I have my PlayStation here. If we plug it in and there's something on the TV, I'll just move this camera. This video is sponsored by PayPal Honey. Wow, I I just saved a ton of money with honey. <clears throat> Sorry, what? You saved money? How? I want to save money. I'll save money. Uh, with honey. It's the number one shopping tool in America. Okay, how does that work? Oh, it's just a little icon that sits at the top of my browser. I, I installed it in like one click. And now every time I'm shopping online, uh, I just go to checkout and yeah, it just pops up and it applies all the coupon codes it can find online, applies the best one. And I often save a lot of money, but that today was crazy. I just bought a PC and saved a uh, couple hundred dollars. Okay, cool. I guess I'll buy honey. No, you see, that's the best thing is that it's free. And it's already working on a load of sites that you're already shopping on. It's free? How does that even make sense? That, that, I, I, that, I, that sounds too good to be true. I don't know, but you should try it too, because we could get two of these computers. Go to joinhoney.com forward slash beat-em-ups. <laughs> beat-em-ups? Join.com slash beat-em-ups? That's our name. It sure is, buddy. It sure is. I am ready to be blown away by this thing. I'm really excited. I don't really know what to expect, but I have a Quest 2 and I use it a lot. And the Quest 2 is really good, honestly. I really do love the Quest. Oh, that all kind of just fell out on my lap. I don't know why I opened it that way. Here is the headset. What do you think, Dala? You seem to be very interested. First up, super light. This is really light. One of the big advantages of having the PSVR is unlike a lot of headsets like the Quest 2, there's a lot of tech inside the headset because you can play it on its own as well as plugged into the PC. This can really only be used when it's plugged into something else like the PlayStation, so there's no need for too much tech in this. Simplified explanation. These controllers are super futuristic looking, really wacky. I don't dislike them. You have to insert your hand into them. I mean, it definitely feels good. Something again, I liked about the Quest 2 is it can tell how you're holding the controller. So if you want to point at something in VR, you literally point in real life and it senses you've removed your finger and you're probably trying to point. Same with the thumbs up, same with finger guns. And I assume this is similar technology. I also assume that's why we have this wraparound band to monitor the hand even more. Or maybe I'm overthinking it and they just did a really futuristic design for the controllers. I will say the only thing I'm worried about instantly off the rip, having played a lot of VR, there are certain games like After the Fall, which I really like, where when you reload a gun or you try and load a gun and then you have to pull back the hammer. Often when I'm trying to do those motions, I end up bashing and clanging the controllers together and I can definitely see that happening with these. So I hope that's not the case. I have a full game download here. I have earbuds. Really suck to have to wear headphones while I play with this thing. First thing off the bat that I love about this VR, there's no extra pass through stupid idiot dumb box. I hated that thing. It was the main reason I never wanted to play PSVR. I couldn't leave it plugged in because there was no HDR pass through on that box. So for all my other games I wanted to play, if I wanted to start playing Uncharted 4, I had to unplug the VR box and replug everything back in to get the HDR. Again, it's like all these different HDMIs and multiple ports and cores. It's just one USB-C. It's the future, baby. Let's go. Horizon Call of the Mountain. 46 gigs. Okay. In the meantime, while that downloads, now we can plug in the headset. I'll say that I usually stand when I play VR. One, it gives me an excuse to be active while I'm playing games. And two, it's more fun standing. I feel more engrossed if I'm actually standing, especially if it's a game where the character is standing. I'm probably going to have to sit because I've set up to sit. 
Oh Alright, I'm turning it on. Wait, the headset vibrates? I don't want you vibrating on my face. I don't know if I want that. Okay, so the PlayStation is asking to update the headset. I don't know if it is doing it, but I asked it to do it. Oh, here we go. Get started. Oh, connect the headphones. Ooey gooey. That's one thing I already really don't like. I'm not pleased by this. Even those VR, AR glasses I took a look at recently had them. All right, so this slips in to the back of the headset. And then you've got two little dangles. I mean, come on. This went from looking so futuristic to looking like the Walkman I used to take to school in the 90s. Walkman was cool. <laughs> that was sick. Or oh, the on-screen guide on how to put on your VR headset. I don't like this weird spongy material around the face. It feels really cheap. It feels like the old virtual boy, actually. See you on the other side. Plugging in the very gross earbuds. They are very uncomfortable. My ears are clean, but it feels like they're pushing wax back in my ears. To make sure you can see the screen clearly, adjust the lens distance so your eyes are positioned in the middle of the lenses. Oh, actually, that's kind of sick. I just adjusted with this dial up top and it even recognized that my eyes were in the right place. That makes me feel really confident that I have it set as good as I can. Whoa, that's trippy. <laughs> okay, all right, that's pretty cool. So again, the Quest 2 does do this feature where you have pass-through, see-through. But this one's way better, actually. I can really see everything really clear. And it's nice, you know, if you feel like someone's in the room. You don't have to take your headset off to look around. Something I've been excited about is just new features of VR and the ways they make it more convenient. I'm having a hard time putting these on right now, aren't I? Oh, the buttons feel nice. I like that I have this tutorial floating in my room right now. That's a really cool futuristic touch. And not sure if the room wasn't black and white, but still. PlayStation VR tracks movement of your eyes. Oh, I I like that. That might actually make a lot of things less motion sicknessy. Okay, this is trippy because I know it's following my eyes and that kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm trying not to move my head. I assume that's part of it. Eye tracking adjusted. Try it out by looking at the surrounding dots to see how- Yo, that's sick though. I'm just looking at the dots and they're timing when I look at them. See, this is the kind of tech I get really excited about. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so it's gonna scan my area now. Oh my God, the way that it's like vector placing my room is really interesting. I can't keep these things in my ears. Battery's too low. All right, that sucks. Okay, so far, pretty impressed by a lot of stuff. I am going to quickly put some charge in these, maybe uh, come back in like 30 minutes and we'll keep going. Okay, I have my kombucha and I even made lunch. I made a burger. It's been about 45 minutes. I'm hoping that's enough to play. I even went ahead and plugged in the gameplay to be recorded too. Let's go. I am very excited. I'm gonna say it one more time and leave it there. Awful audio, just awful. I love this head tracking. Oh, it's not even head tracking, it's my eyes again. I'm just looking at them, so wild. I'm gonna try smooth rotation. Usually that makes me motion sick, but I wanna see if I can do it. Oh, that's very pretty. Shadow Karja. Ooh, look at my hands. See what I was saying? Finger guns. And then if I put my thumbs, even I just touch them lightly, literally, it's so light. I'm not clicking them or anything. It just knows what my hands are doing. I can do peace. The headset just rumbled as that went by. That's actually sick. I don't think I was gonna like that, but that felt really uh, organic. The rubber piece around this headset is not comfortable. It's kind of hurting my face. Oh, can I touch that? Oh, I can. I don't know why that made me happy. I would help if I could. Hi. Hello. Good night. Ooh, can I have that? Oh, I can! Okay, that was actually kind of cool. I'm not dying for a shadow card. No, my broken arrow. Oh, do I swim? Oh, I actually do swim. I just hit the microphone. Moving forward, hold. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want this. No, this is not how I move in this game. No, 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 no. Why would anybody play like that? Now look at me next. There we go. I've got to get off this dock. Nope, that's gonna make me vomit. Yep, that's fine. Much faster too. I don't know why they made it so slow to rotate. You know, I do like VR. But this is a lot of the reasons why people don't really mess with it. Oh God. And I tried to readjust it on my head and I pulled the earplugs out. Like I'm complaining a lot, but I mean, this is it, man. This is the VR experience.
Audio is going to be horrible because I keep pushing it further and further away, but goddamn. Yeah, if you've never played a VR game before, the visuals alone in this are going to blow you away, I feel like. You're going to be very surprised at how far graphics have come in VR in the last few years. All right, this is this, this. This is why I've been excited. Am I waiting for this to end? What's happening? Oh, reach over left shoulder. What? Sorry, what's behind me? What? Oh. Oh okay, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. It feels so accurate. I wonder if they're actually using my eye tracking to tell what I'm trying to look at. I'm not this accurate in VR games usually. No, oh, man, come on. I actually feel like I can aim in this. This is one of the first times in VR I felt actually capable of aiming. Yeah. That's cool. It's nice level design. It's not just generic platforming. This is actually making me feel really uncomfortable. I'm like over a ravine. I feel like I need to go slow because I do not want to mess up. Uh... We're going to play heads or tails. We're going to play, we're going to play plate flip. If it lands on this side, it's tails. This side is heads. Place your bets now. All right. Oh! <laughs> you can burn myself? Oh, I'm actually taking damage. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hey! We will, we will rock you. Uh-oh, I got my hand stuck. Can I one-handed climb? <laughs> Oh my god, that was like in the video games, but I did it for real. Woo! My heart actually skipped a beat there. I thought I was falling. Hello, big boy. Dinner time! Ooh. Anyone out here? Oh, I'm yelling. I couldn't tell because the audio is so bad. It sounded like it was coming from down there. <laughs> hello, little guy. What's your name? My name is Bob. Oh, hello, Bob. Oh, I didn't mean to grab you there, buddy. Sorry. You dumb, dumb idiot. Well. Well, that was Bob, everybody. There's a lot of music in this. Oh my god, there's a lot of nice little um, things to do and play with in this game. Beautiful. I have to take this machine down. Combat, your movement is limited to the highlighted path. Oh no. Th okay, so this game's more of like a tech demo than an actual game, I guess. for the initial VR experience. I don't think there's real... I think I hit my mic at some point while I was playing. Overall, it's a fantastic VR headset. The aim with the controllers was what was impressing me the most. I've never felt like my aim was so perfect. And I think a lot of that goes into the eye tracking, but maybe also the gyro, just better tech than what I've used before. Couple of gripes. The biggest one is these crappy earbuds. I wish that there was onboard sound. It's such a small thing, but it adds so much. That onboard sound, like with the Quest 2, is so nice and the audio quality is way better than these tiny little uncomfortable earbuds that kept falling out. It's not the most comfortable headset. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. The vision was super clear. I really do like that. Not blurry at all. I'll have my editor put up the specs of this headset right here, but I know they're really good as far as the frame rates you can get out of these things, the resolution, the hertz, all of those things being larger, better, bigger numbers these days is what's helping not feel motion sick at all other than when i put on the free motion setting in this horizon game but that's always per game i don't know if they're trying to make it slow thinking that helps but it doesn't help me at all so it's easier just putting on that snap feature controllers are nice really easy to set up and use so much better than the last vr unit all of that's fantastic if i was to review horizon itself quickly based on the half an hour that i just played i really hope it opens up a little bit because right now it is a classic vr demo 
demo adjacent experience, very on rails, very linear. And then when that battle put me on a line and I could only move around in a circle, that's when I instantly got slapped with the demo stick of just, oh, okay, I'm beta testing something here. So I hope there's some really cool experiences on the way to PSVR 2, some really cool exclusives. But yeah, for now, I'll leave it there. Okay, initially I was gonna leave my video there, have it be kind of a first impression. However, I started thinking more and more about $600 and it started to not sit right with me to not at least experience some more of what this had to offer before I put my video out. So the entire day, it's like midnight right now, I've just been playing VR and I gotta say, it is a really good VR headset, but it's very expensive and the audio is inexcusable. I've had to plug in my HyperX headset into here and I'm glad I can at least do that. I don't understand why not having onboard audio wasn't at least an option for $600. The Quest 2 is $300. Well, it was, they actually increased the price to $400, but still $200 less and it has a feature this doesn't have. When I sat down down a strap on into all of this, I felt like I was partaking in some kind of bondage kink that I was not prepared for. <laughs> So that is a nightmare and there's the last thing I'll say about it. The controllers, no complaints other than they die so stupidly quick. And then once they say they're low, you have to go and charge them up. In fact, this right one is on charge right now for that very reason. And since it only came with one charge cord, I guess I'll charge the other one later. It is USB-C though, so I can just get another charge cord. I'm being a bit dramatic there, but I wish they'd given me two cords or some kind of charging dock. The biggest thing I want to add is I found out while recording my podcast on the week can, that the screen in here is actually an OLED screen and the resolution is a little better than the Quest 2. That impressed me a lot and it explains why it is so clear and clean inside the headset. I played some After the Fall today, which is an amazing Left 4 Dead style game and it does look better in here than when I played on the Quest 2, even plugged into my beefy PC. If you've ever gone from a Switch to a Switch OLED, you know how much better that is and I think that's where your extra 200 something dollars is going into this thing over getting a quest. It does look nice. The colors do pop. It is very clear. I'm also finding aiming still so much easier using this headset. And I think it has something to do with the eye tracking or maybe just the motion and the gyro. Whatever goes into this is just better tech than what I've played with before. And VR is just getting better. My only other complaint after a day of playing is there's a bit of plastic that loops around the the cord and this little bit of plastic sits right here on my forehead and it rubs and it's hard and it hurts. Quickly, I played a few games today. No Man's Sky is fantastic. It had a fidelity upgrade for the PlayStation VR 2 and it does look really good and it plays really good. When I play on my PC, it stutters a lot for some reason, which can make me feel motion sick. The optimization here with these games, even in that after the full game, no stuttering. It played so smooth. Bob and I also tried this game called Demi it's like a Dungeons and Dragons style tabletop game that you kind of hover over it, but it's sick. Oh, and I even tried that kayaking game. Someone said that was fun and that game is gorgeous. I actually recommend that one. I think this is overpriced. I think for $600, this shouldn't look and feel so cheap. It shouldn't hurt my head as much as it does. It shouldn't have so much cheap rubber in it. It should have audio built in so I don't have to wear headphones. It's a lot I feel like this should have, but everything it does have, it's pretty good. And if you already have a PlayStation, and you want to play VR, all up, I guess, is an affordable way to do it. I mean, you look at doing this on anything else and you're going to need the PC to run the VR games. And if you want to run them as well as the PlayStation does, you're going to need a pretty good PC. So this is an affordable way to play some of the best VR games. Buy it or don't, I really don't mind, but I might make some more VR videos in the future. I don't know why I went so Australian then. Oopsie, bye.